Hey guys, so I'm in Cuba at the moment and I wanted to take the opportunity while I have a backdrop such as this to film some kind of you know helpful guitar lesson video for you guys. Obviously I don't have a guitar with me at the moment so I'm gonna be um, talking you guys through and I was thinking of what video I could possibly film that would be useful to you and I feel the most useful thing while I've been out here I've been trying kind of a lot of new things so I've been uh, well, showing some other people and learning myself how to salsa dance a little bit, how to speak a bit of Spanish, um, how to, um, you know, we're looking at learning how to scuba dive and lots of different new things, even just new card games or new games to play um, while we've been here and new ways of doing things. And um, I thought about how learning a new skill can be a little bit scary or tricky even when, you know, it's something as simple as a new card game or, or, a, or a language. Um, the real barrier I've found when I've been teaching people guitar or learning anything new at all um, is not the skill itself, it's not um, you not being good enough to learn it or it's not, um, you know, in terms of guitar playing, it's not that you're not talented enough to learn it, it's not that your fingers don't go in the same way, it's certainly not you're not smart enough because you know you don't have to be smart at all to learn how to play guitar um, the real tricky thing is it's your emotions that, that can stop you because you can feel like a beginner that feeling of being a, a beginner is a real barrier and it doesn't have to be especially when it comes to music and playing the guitar what you have to do is get yourself in the mood to think that it's a good idea to want to learn how to play. So the absolute best way that you can do that, get yourself in the zone as they call it, get yourself in the flow. The best way to do that is to put on some songs that, yeah, you may want to be able to play, um, and that maybe that you can't even play yet, but put on some songs that get you into the mood of, of wanting to play guitar. I certainly did not spend the majority of my youth sort of with guitar being the best part of my day by just playing scales the whole time. I had to spend some amount of my practice routine um, getting myself into it. So I'd be playing songs that I know, songs that I enjoyed, and songs that really got me into the zone. And if I was smart about it, I'd be playing songs that would also, I'd, I'd be working on as, as well, that maybe I could see used the major scale or the pentatonic, and I could see the shapes it was using to help me. But the overriding thing was not technical exercises, it was songs, it was getting me wanting to play and have this cool instrument in, in my hands the whole time. Um, I even had a go yesterday while I was here at playing, um, it was an eight string guitar, which I've, I don't think I've ever seen before in my life. Um, it was basically a large ukulele, and uh, so a guitar sized ukulele, four strings, um, that were doubled up with the octaves, so kind of like a 12 string but um, yeah the tuning was the same as a ukulele and I do have a ukulele so I could have a little play of it but it was very different and having a little jam with the guys was um, fun yeah but very daunting if I wasn't very used to being put in those kind of situations but it was the fun of what I was actually trying to do look at, look at where you are, look at what you're trying to do um, the really gets you through that and you rely on all sorts of little different skills so whenever you're trying anything new but certainly if you're new at guitar and you're still trying to think is this for you or you've been playing a number of months six months to a year and you feel like you're not getting anywhere make sure you get in the zone get in the zone to want to be able to play the guitar every time you do it whether that's putting on your favorite song or album that's what you need to do i think the main barrier for a lot of people that i teach that have been playing six months to a year um, and still don't have maybe a favorite record favorite artist favorite album you need those things you need something to remind you why you're getting into this in the first place um, and you will be rewarded when you stick with that by putting yourself in the zone that makes you stick with the tougher times and the tougher exercises that maybe don't come as naturally to you Thanks for checking out this video. Please subscribe if you like what I do. There will be some blogs from Cuba and wherever else I end up jetting to this year now that I have the camera equipment to do so. But um, yeah, I will see you another time. Bye for now.